Hi, my name is Roger and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to compare mastering plugins. I have professional commercial plugins and also free plugins and we will see what the difference is, if there is a difference. What mastering is, how you should do it and why you should do it is a subject for another video. I did a video where I interviewed a great mastering engineer. His name is Roger. Good name. I will link that in the description if you're interested. Now let's compare some plugins. I have a song here. It's the Roger That song of 2021 and it sounds like this. So on. Then I did two mastering chains, one with commercial professional plugins and one with free plugins. I will go through the commercial plugins now so you can see what I did. I could have spent more time on it, but I did this so I can compare the plugins. I started out with a Pro Q3 from Fab Filter, and with it, it sounds like this. I high pass the signal to make it fatter. Yes, fatter, because I took away frequencies that only took up energy, which left the audible bass to have more space, more room, hence fatter. I also took away a little bit of, of 200 hertz. We all know that 200 hertz is the devil. Then I needed a compressor, so I took the Shadow Hills compressor from Plugin Alliance, and with it, it sounds like this. One and a half dBs of compression at the most, a fairly slow attack at 30 milliseconds and a fairly fast release to make the compressor pump a little bit with the beat of the song. And then an, an enhancement EQ and then I went for this Dangerous Backs EQ where I raised a little bit of the high end from 7K-ish and a little bit of low end at around 70 Hertz. And with it, it sounds like this. I go, I I crawled, I After that, I thought I needed some air. This is the international symbol for air, if you didn't know. So I went for sugar. I made a video about this plugin also. I will link it. Uh, where I raise the top end and the sort of high mid shine a little bit and with it it sounds like this I go, I I crawled, I and then some stereo enhancement with an MSEQ and this is the BX digital version 3 from Plugin Alliance Brainworks uh, I raised the sides a bit to make the stereo image a little bit wider. I also dipped a little bit around one kilohertz in the mid. So now it sounds like this. I go, I I I and then a limiter at the end. This is the... Pro L2 from Fab Filter, and I aimed for minus 14 decibels average ish because that's where most streaming services play their music. If you must your song louder than that, the streaming services will lower it to minus 14 and vice versa. And now it sounds like this. So we started here. And now we're here. Everywhere I go. I I I and then I tried to replicate what I did with the pro plugins on the free plugins. 
and the free plugins with that chain sounds like this. That's with the free plugins. I haven't spent a dollar on this and it sounds that good. It's astonishing. I have used M Equalizer from Melda Production and then TDR, Kotelnikov from Tokyo Dawn Labs and then TDR Voss Slick EQ from Tokyo Dawn Labs, Fresh Air from Slate Digital, BC Triple EQ4 from Blue Cat Audio and then Frontier Limiter. Let's compare them once more. This is the free plugin version and it sounds like this. And this is with the pro plugins. So what do you think? Which one sounds better? Or are there any differences? Tell me in the comments. If you like these comparison videos, please like the video and also tell me other things you want to compare in the comments and I will try to do that. Also subscribe if you haven't. You can say that we use tools for mastering and tools in Swedish is verktyg, verktyg. Until next time, Roger that. Where it's at.